What's up everyone, it's Agbar the Mad, and today we're playing my Turgrid Rihanna Praetor deck. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, it essentially just uses Gate to the Afterlife to go find God Pharaoh's Gift to reanimate any of these new Praetors, or Turgrid, or the Scarab God, or whatever we happen to have in our bin. Uh, to do that, we have a bunch of mill creatures, and this new, uh, mill card that will help us either find a creature or land normally a land uh early game and uh you know and a few wipes but yeah it's a pretty fun deck we'll hop in and play some games how about that um i'm i'm super excited that historic anthology 5 had all the praetors um i've been playing a lot of commander lately so i've been playing um if you know it it's called croxa world gorger that whole combo well sure we'll keep it uh which which part of that deck that i have built is shialdred and turgrid in it because the they combo real nicely together and that uh, when Shieldred makes you uh, discard Turgrid or makes your opponent sacrifice I'm sorry uh, Turgrid brings it back uh, there's a bunch of other like interactions like that in the deck oh it's a kind of a reanimator deck i don't run a super a lot of creatures in it but it's whatever uh two tritons in the band that's not bad all right cool drop you there's no point in throwing out the gate to the afterlife yet granted i suppose it may have been good to throw it out in the case that he um, has like a thought seize or something because that's an obvious target and unfortunately we got to figure out a way for the citrus supply to die supplier to die I need a something to make me discard. I guess I could. Let's just go with this. Citrus supplier. That doesn't activate it. So what I can do is I can throw down the lantern and target myself, which actually wouldn't be a bad idea to get these Jin uh, Gataxias into the graveyard. The one problem is, is that he has done literally nothing. Beautiful. Never mind, I don't have to do it. Wait, no. That's, that's an exile effect. Turgrid's Lantern. Saw it coming, yep. Well, never mind, I can't do that. And I do have green mana in here, you just would never believe it. Granted, we're only running just a couple of green sources anyway, so... Ugh. 
let us go for the library. And we will pull out I don't know what. I don't really remember what's in the what's been mailed. Turgrid? Boring collects. My boy. Beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that the most beautiful Vorn clicks you've ever did see? Now we got double mana. Now we can just hard cast the Jin Kataxia. Oh well, never mind. But he no longer has access to blue. Unless he plays blue. And, uh, that doesn't really slow it down. Yeah, we'll go ahead and drop you. Uh, we will take... Terrigrid. Because why not? Are you gonna kill Terrigrid? take a lot to do this all right that's whatever Shark Typhoon, sure. So we Meyer Triton. And then we Turgrid. Alright, what you got for us? That makes sense. Even. Uh, this is a token copy, so it has it does have the mana cost. It does confuse people because it is a token, but it does have the mana cost. Create a token that's a copy. Yeah. I mean, I would have done the same thing. You're looking at uh, 12 damage next turn because I have it in graveyard. Uh, and the, the creatures are coming back as 4 4s no matter what. So, yep. Yeah. Let's keep on playing. Was that game one? I think that was game one. I've been playing a couple. Uh, been playing a couple games but yeah this nice little Sultai reanimator build is pretty fun get to the afterlife this isn't the greatest we'll keep it though it has these in it at least we don't have any way to put anything in the graveyard which is awful but 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 okay oh wait yeah I'm an idiot I'm an idiot 100% confirmed dumb all right it's all right I managed to be that way you can tell right there's the Meyer Triton you suck so much. It's alright though. My Triton in the graveyard still counts as one. Alrighty then. So let's 
Let's see if we can find a... Look at this. Look at this. Absolutely no lands. Five cards off the top. No lands. None of them were lands. One, two, three, four creatures. Need two more in the graveyard. It's whatever. I train every That's day. not... Keep an open mind. That doesn't draw cards, it reveals them. I don't think anything I'll do draws cards. Except Jankataxia. Jankataxia te technically, technically draws cards. Alright, so we drop this now. So can't do anything about it. And then we drop you. Enters the battlefield. Mills us no creatures, of course. Of course. Why would it put any creatures in the bit in the bed? Trick question, it wouldn't. Oh yeah. Teferi. Trust me, keep up the pace. Beautiful. Put thoughtfulness before action. Doomscar? Yes. Uh Fable Passage, yeah, we'll play you. Um, does it matter? I could take another green, I guess. Alright, so... I think we swing our boy at him. Makes sense, I would have blocked it too. Fine. This is all fine. Beautiful. And now we have the gate to the afterlife. You know what? I'm not. Doomscar, please. Baneslayer Angel? Baneslayer Angel, have I introduced you to... Bantu's Last Reckoning? It's an interesting interaction, for sure. Anyway. There's, there's some black mana. Um, let's check if they're in my bin. I have... I one of them is. So... Then one of them would be in my library. Let's get that. Um, we are gonna go for... Where are we gonna go for? Sheldred? Nope. I think four and clicks. And then we're gonna... Hit your boy. Stop that now. Keep up the pace. Yeah. Sure. No problem, Teferi. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. Play. Instance at sorcery speed for Endivorn Clex. Ah, yes. Thank you. Now, granted, Teferi does get around that, but, um,. Doesn't really get around the uh, other 4-4 four, four that's going to be coming at him. Uh, Non-creature spells your opponent's cast with mana value 4 or greater cost. Two more to cast. Um, hmm. Let's just get a Mire Triton. Could use some more stuff in the graveyard. 
And it's going to be Teferi again. That dies. Scarab God's not bad. We need to move quickly. Two gates and then one in yeah. So let's see what he does. A rest in peace would absolutely kill us. Alright, cool. Yes. Let's activate this ability. I search my graveyard. Because I know it's there. I uh, will get a. First, I guess we'll get a stitch supplier. We'll get. Hmm. I think a scarab god. And, uh, yes, yeah, stop the fairy from dying. have a better plan next time beautiful I love that he watched what we were playing knew that we were playing guard Pharaoh's gift and decided that mill was an option <laughs> beautiful absolutely outstanding Jenga taxia thank you thank you so that's the targets. Oh yes, Elspeth conquers death. I wonder what that'll be. Makes sense, makes sense. And um... Yeah, I'm thinking we get a Turgrid. And we use this Turgrid to hit him. Hit the Narset real good. We still have much to learn. Now granted, if he has another Elspeth Conqueror's death, um we have a sad, sad day. Yep. Card you. I have 13 cards. So maybe I was wrong to laugh about the Teferi's tutelage. I can't. One, two, three, four, five. I still have a Shialdred that I could potentially get. This is also instant, so. Yep. None of that's good. I know what must be done. 
Yeah. Oh, that's all. That's all right. I feel like I was wrong to laugh about the Teferi's tutelage, because I'm almost certainly dead to mail. And then I'm dead to mail, right? Yep. GG. Not waiting for that, but I guess I shouldn't have laughed about the tutelage. I was milling myself too much. I should probably throw some, uh, maybe like a sideboard and fay of wishes with clear, th clear the mind, or maybe just throw clear the mind in there. Could throw guy's blessing, but that doesn't help my own strategy it's probably clear the mind okay this isn't good I will keep it why not it's perfect the way it is What is this dude doing? Is he keeping? Is he AFK? Probably mill a bunch of lands here. Just you wait. Oh, no, no. I just milled my game strategy. Right in front of him. Ah, oh, yes. Would you like to block? No pride, mate? Oh, this is Azorius. Well, this is probably a loss. Oh, yes. Fifteen cards. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Got the guard mage. Cool, cool. QQ. Oh, yes. Two more to cast. Have. Uh, yep, two more to cast. Let's throw you down and then. Hmm. I believe what it is is Bomb 2's Last Reckoning. So we keep doing this. Sounds good. Watch her with the spheres. Uh oh. Dungeon guys. Uh oh. All right. Pass the turn. Uh oh. And this extinction event's gonna wreck him. Cause you know what those are, right? They're even. Uh oh. Oh. 
Oh, it was just an opt. I like that, uh, three draws in a row it was Turgrid. So why, what else would it be? What is this? Create two colorless thopter. Okay. Dungeon Geists. Sure, whatever. It's tapped. Yep, target player loses three life is what that says. Elite Guard Mage. Okay. We did nothing. Any more board wipes? No. No. Lose three life. Uh, untap. And then, um, lose three life. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be game for us. Because we lose... Nine life? Yep. Well. Yeah, that happens. But that first game was pretty good. Um. Which, actually... Yeah, I think that's probably it. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll see you.